My favorite animal is the elephant. Elephants are extremely intelligent, they're powerful, they're loyal, um, and they're very destructive as well. Um, over the years, I've, I've had some great interactions with these animals. I've gotten to see them up close. I have been able to feed them. I've, I've ridden them. I have, um, there, there was one baby elephant that I got to play with. He was 21 days old. We were sitting there tickling him and he was rolling around like a little dog. It was, it was great. Um, I've gotten to feed other baby elephants milk with these giant bottles of milk. Um, I've even had to run away from some wild elephants. Another story. Um, <laughs> One weekend, um, years ago, another missionary family and our family decided to go to a game reserve in Rwanda. Um, we wanted to go check it out. Um, we formed a little convoy. Um, the other missionary family was driving a little Toyota Land Cruiser, old beat up Toyota Land Cruiser. My family was in an old Daihatsu truck. Now this truck um, could comfortably seat two people up front, maybe three if you squeeze them in. The back, the bed, um, there was a metal cage or metal structure that was built over the, over the back of the truck and it was covered with a canvas tarp. Now, three hours later, my brother and I, who ended up being in the back of the truck, bouncing around, uh, we finally get to the the game reserve. We take the canvas off a off the front of the truck a little bit, the front of that cage, um, that gave us uh, my, my brother and I access to pop our heads up above the top of the truck so we could see all the way around, and we we were out for an, we were out for an adventure. We wanted to see some animals. It was a good day. We saw hippos, we saw giraffe, we saw zebras and gazelle and all sorts of other animals. Didn't see a lion, still looking for that one. Earlier in the day, we had seen a couple of elephants across the lake, it was pretty neat. Late afternoon, we were driving through this section of, of the bush um, the, the trees and, and, and the brush were growing almost all the way up to the little dirt path that we were driving on. I guess they called it a road. But as we were going through this, um, this narrow passage, uh, it was narrow enough that, that we could only stay in a convoy, the two vehicles, um, we could not go around each other. It was either go forward or go backwards. Um, as, as we were going, um, we came around this, this band in, in, in the path, and right in front of us were two very large elephants. They were about 10 feet off to the side of the road under a big tree. Now the Land Cruiser was in front of us. They pulled up, they stopped, and of course they pulled out their cameras and started taking pictures. The elephants were kind of startled by us coming around the corner. They didn't like us there. And so they turned towards the Land Cruiser and started making their way towards the Land Cruiser with bad intent. Ron, the driver of the Land Cruiser, drove on my dad who was driving the truck let the um let the elephants settle down a little bit they went back towards that tree and continued continued eating we pulled up towards that little clearing we were probably 10 or 15 feet away from that elephant or those elephants i should say 
My dad stops the truck, he pulls out the video camera and starts videoing these elephants. Now, with the running truck, the vibrations from the running truck, it, my dad was finding it really hard to keep his hands steady while, while filming these elephants. And so he decided he was gonna turn the truck off. And just as his hand was on the key turning to turn the truck off, he says, or he said later, that a voice distinctly spoke to him and said, do not turn that truck off. He listened to that voice. He did not turn the truck off. He went back to trying to film the elephants. Of course, the elephant did not like us there. And so he turned around and started charging our truck. My dad got out of there real quick because elephant versus truck, elephant wins. Me and my brother, we're, we're sitting in, we're in the back of this truck uh, on this little metal cage with an elephant really close by. About a mile down the road, we catch up to the Land Cruiser who was stopped because of another vehicle in front of them had a flat tire. And as we couldn't go around them, we, we pulled up behind the Land Cruiser, we stopped, um, we all got out of our vehicles and we went and helped this other um, traveler change their tire. Didn't take us long to change the tire. That other vehicle took off, Land Cruiser starts taking off, we get back to our truck and when my dad tries to turn the truck on, it will not start. He tries to turn it on again, it will not start. Finally, we get back out of the truck, walk around, try to figure out what's going on, why is this truck not starting? We finally realize that one of the cables that went to the battery terminals had popped right off. It had vibrated so much that it had fallen off the battery. And there was no way that truck was going to start unless somebody got out there and put that cable back on that battery. See, before we started out on our little adventure that day, our two families got together and we prayed to God for protection. And I truly believe that God does protect us. See, in, in Psalms, it, it says, the Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and your going, both now and forevermore. Isaiah says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. As we listen to this song, I pray that you take courage in the fact that we serve a God who promises to protect us, who promises to care for us, and who is mighty. That's never failed. Let mercy fall on me. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of the Savior.
God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus Christ. 